Hello. Thyroid. We get a lot of patients of thyroid coming to us, asking us if we can start them on thyroid or people who have already been on medicines for thyroid, wanting to stop allopathy and start on homeopathy for thyroid. Now what happens in thyroid? The gland which is there in your body, the thyroid gland, is supposed to produce a hormone which is supposed to regulate the functioning of the body. Now when the thyroid stimulating hormone is raised, that means the TSH level goes up, this is called as a hypothyroidism. So typically the symptoms that happen are putting on weight, dryness of the skin, constipation, depression, hair fall, puffiness of the face. There are a whole lot of things that are associated with it. So you go to the doctor saying that I'm feeling very lethargic, I'm feeling sleepy all the day and I'm feeling a headache, I'm not feeling myself. The doctor will get your test done and he will say your TSH is high. Your body is not producing the kind of thyroid that is required so we need to take it from outside. So usually the levels of the thyroid are between 4 to 6. So the moment it crosses 6, the allopathic doctor would put you on medication. That's a supplement. It is not a medicine. It is what the body is not producing is giving you from outside. So you start consuming that. Once you start taking those medication, your thyroid gland will think, oh, I don't have to function anymore. I'm anyway getting what anyway getting what I need from outside. And this will kind of go into sleep mode. That's the reason once you start on thyroid medication, you're taking it all your life. You're not really letting your thyroid gland do its job. You're taking it from outside. So that is why it becomes a lifelong thing for you. Now, the fact is the TSH level, which is up to six, can go all the way up to 250 to 300. We have patients coming with 250, 260. We've got kids coming to us with 500. Trust me, these people have no problem. They casually get their test done and they come to know that your TSH levels are very high and they start on medication. Now, once they start on medications, I've already told you what happens to them. This is the allopathic way of treatment. There's nothing else they do except they supplement what is not produced in the body. The homeopathic way of approach. Now, this particular thyroid gland, which is not secreting properly, needs help. The homeopathic medicines which are selected, they go and stimulate the thyroid gland to produce its hormones. It takes about three to six months time and we've had about 80 to 90 percent of the people who have been coming to us responding in three to six months time. So we get their TSH done once in three months time and depending upon how they are responding, you most of the people in three to six months time the TSH level comes down to normal. Now those people who have been on allopathic medication, we make them stop their allopathic medication and we ask them to try homeopathy for three months time. These kind of people also, in about three to six months time, they normally respond. There are a few of them who don't respond. In three to six months time, we ask them to go back to uh, allopathic medication because their thyroid gland is refusing to get stimulated. Most of the time it gets stimulated. It's worth giving it a try. What happens if you don't treat thyroid? Nothing much. You know, you might put on a little weight or you might feel a little lethargic, but then that that's okay. That's a part of life. You know, a lot of people in the rural areas, they come, they get their thyroid check, the endocrinologist will tell them to take thyroid medication. They'll take it for a month, they discontinue it. They come back after six months again. And again, it's high, again he gives, again they take it for about a month's time. So thyroid is not a big deal. It's not a dangerous disease. It's nothing to worry about. You can play around with it. Unless you have a lot of symptoms. You know, there are people who have irregular periods, you know, they're putting on enormous amount of weight, they are not able to keep their eyes open. Such kind of people need emergency, some help that is immediately required and then that's understandable. We get kids who are the age of eight, nine on allopathic medications and the sad part is they have to be on it all their life. But we've been able to help a lot of kids. We stop their allopathic medications, start them on homeopathic medications and they respond very well. What are the diet restrictions? Nothing much. People say that you're not supposed to have cabbage and all that, but I have no idea why they say that. According to me, it's quite okay, but you can browse. You can Google and see if it makes sense to you. Follow the diet if it makes sense to you. 
do your exercises regularly because with thyroid there is always a chance of you putting on weight because your metabolic rate you could drops so be consistent in doing your exercises do not start on any allopathic supplements until you have given homeopathy a try for at least about 3 to 6 months trust me nothing is going to happen to you in the next 3 to 6 months time of the trial but if these medicines can help you avoid allopathic medicines for the rest of your life isn't it worth giving it a try stay safe take care